our home biogas system came very well packed into two different boxes. One box contains the biogas digester bag itself, and the other contains all the components and fittings. Also included in the shipment was a free t-shirt and a free hat. Shipping took six days from Israel to Puerto Rico. The first step in setting up the biogas digester was to clear and level an area. The instructions call for a two by three meter area. A warm, sunny area is recommended as well. I'm here in front of the spot that I just cleared for the biogas digester. First thing I have to do now is unfold the biogas digester. Next thing I'm gonna do is take these O-rings and insert them into this little groove on the inside. The instructions made note to say that the O-ring goes with the slanted side facing up. There's an O-ring each for each of the holes on the biogas digester, so I'm going to go put those in now. Now that the O-rings are installed, I'm going to use the provided lubricant to lube up these surfaces so they're easy to slide into the fittings. <clears throat> now I'm going to connect this elbow to this longer piece. sure that it's pushed all the way in. This piece is the effluent chute and also the gas catch and it's going to need lube right here where it goes in. Now that we're lubed up I'm going to take the beginning of the feed chute and the effluent chute and plug them in. Right here is the hole for the feed chute. You can tell because the home biogas logo is at the front where the feed chute goes. So I'm gonna take my feed chute and I'm gonna get it started first. And then I'm gonna grip under this hole or this hold right here. Just make sure it's pressed all the way in. Right here is the hole for the effluent chute. And you kind of want to do the same thing. I'm just going to unfold this a little bit more so I can get access to it. So now that the effluent chute and the feed chute are installed, I'm going to install the feed chute's little mouth thing that makes it easier to feed. And I've already lubed this end of it, so I just have to press it in. Now that the end of that is pressed in, the feed chute has these supports that clip to four different points on the front of the biogas digester. The clips themselves attach to these little loops right here. And there's one, two, um, three, and four. So the way you're supposed to fill this with water 
is to take the feed chute, put a hose down inside of it, and just kind of watch it as it fills up and make sure the water is just kind of spreading out evenly and settling. One thing that was mentioned in the instruction manual was to keep the feed chute and the effluent chute pointing at each other towards the middle of the digester to keep from damaging the inner liner. So now it's about the moment of truth, about to turn the water on. While the biogas is filling with water, check it periodically to make sure that everything is unfolding correctly. So I've got the biogas mostly full, and now what I'm going to do is fill it the rest with some old effluent from a biogas digester that has produced methane, so we know it has the bacteria that can produce the flammable gas. Okay, so now that I've put the last bucket of water in there, it started leaking out the other side and that's how I know that it's full. On the back of the biogas digester, on top of the effluent chute, there's a little cap. And inside you can see that the water level is at the full line. Okay, so now that I got the biogas digester full, I'm gonna leave it for a day, make sure it's not leaking. But before I do that, I'm going to put the plunger in. So it's day two of the biogas setup, and I'm going to do the biogas fitting so I can close that off and connect it to the digester so it can collect the biogas. And then I also have to put this biogas filter into the effluent chute so that it can filter out, I believe it's hydrogen sulfide and the smells, the odors. Oh yeah, before I forget. So the first thing I'm going to do is connect this hose, which has a T on the end of it, to the input to the biogas bag. That's what's going to store the biogas. So I'm going to need a hose clamp and my screwdriver. Also in the instructions, they said that this dotted line needs to be facing up when you insert the fitting. Get my hose clamp on there. I want to make sure that it's pressed on there as far as it'll go. And I don't want to tighten the hose clamp too tight because these are plastic fittings and I don't want to crack the plastic. So now that I've got this T attached right here, the next thing I'm going to add is another T. This way I can break off at a right angle from the biogas digester and go back towards where my kitchen is going to be and also put a valve on here in case you know I'll just have an extra release valve or something I could even attach another gas bag if I wanted to. So I'm going to take another hose clamp, slide it on the end of my tube and I'll force it on there. Tighten my clamp. Cool. Now the biogas digester, it comes with some fittings that are kind of cool. It just has this little barbed fitting and that'll go in the end of the tube like this, but it also has this compression fitting. So I'm going to force that on the end of the tube. And I'm going to take this little barb, press it in the end, and then I can screw it to this fitting.
and that'll be a compression seal. Now that my T's all attached, I can <clears throat> put this last fitting in. And I can attach my valve. So now I've got this valve right here connected and it's closed. And I've got a valve over there that's connected. That'll go to the kitchen and that's closed. So now we're ready to collect biogas. So I said we were ready to collect biogas, but not quite. We still have to do the biogas filter. And this goes right in this top little thing right here. It's got some clips that you undo three. We're just going to drop in the filter. I'm going to remove these stickers. And then it has a little o-ring on it to seal so you'll just want to pop that in there and then just kind of press it down in there so that o-ring seals it. And then we'll take the top, press it back on, and then clip it down. So now that the gas bag is sealed off, I have to basically have a way to get the gas out of the bag when it starts filling up. And to do that, there's slots on the gas bag where you can put sandbags and that'll weigh everything down and force the gas out of the bag when we're ready to cook. So these are the sandbags. They're already pre-filled with dry sand. They have a little line that you fill them to. And these go into the slots and they have a little diagram in the instruction that tells you how many bags per slot. On the side of the bag there's two slots. And each of them takes two sandbags. So I just like to open them up, make sure they're clear. I'm going to just slide the bag in there. And I like to put it with the zipper side facing out. So that way if I ever have to pull these out, I can pull them by the zipper and it won't open inside here and cause a mess. So now that I've got all these pouches filled with the sandbags, um, along the top over here uh, it has these flaps that keep the sandbags in place and it has these ties that you're supposed to tie to keep the sandbags in there. So now that I got all of the sandbag pouches tied up, I think that just about wraps it up. So I think that just about wraps up the setup of the Home Biogas 2.0. If you didn't already activate it like I did with effluent from a digester that had already been producing methane, you're going to have to follow the instructions to activate it using manure or some other type of effluent from another bi uh, biogas digester.